Jeff Chan, really known for his uh, deadly shooting from the wings. Looks like he's uh, more comfortable there. Saka nung college days pa lang yan, ano, Dom? Kilala na yan uh, to, to really burn it from the outside. That's a good rack for Al Jamal. Sorry. Uh, Itong si Jeff Chan. Jeff Chan. Hindi ko pa rin makalimutan yung 19 points ni Al Jamal. Talagang hindi natin makakalimutan <laughs> because everyone inside the Coliseum also couldn't believe that Yusuf could shoot that well. And that's the mark that Jeff Chan wanted. 16 points for Jeff Chan. At alam mo, dito Dom, no? Feeling ko pagaling ng pagaling itong mga contestants natin. After makita nila yung kailangan nilang i-beat, they want to even, in fact, I think they want to beat the score of Al Jamal. One of the guys who's also won the three-point shootout before is Don Don Ontiveros. He won that in 2007. Deadly shooter yan. Hindi natin pwedeng uh, tanggalin sa contest yan. And many time Philippine team member. Itong si Don Don Ontiveros. The Cebuano, Cebuano hot shot. Yan. Also, one thing about Don Don Ontiveros is his competitive nature. Don Don, probably what, 33 years old now. But always bringing his son Isaiah to watch him play. And uh, Ontiveros struggling in the first two racks. Yung first rack, money ball lang yung na-shoot ni Don Don, so he has a lot of catching up to do with But, three racks left. Well, in the second rack, he made three out of five. Oh, hindi biro yan, Dom, no? talaga yung adjustment na ginagawa ni Don Don niya, I'm sure. He's trying to find the range because two racks left with the 23 seconds in his clock. And rhythm shooter itong si Don Don Ontiveros. He's most effective when he's coming off a screen or coming off a kickout. That's why really it depends on your shooting style itong uh, three-point shootout. Alam naman natin in the NBA, three-time champion Larry Bird would shoot differently in the three-point shootout and in games. Oh! One of our fan favorites, John well, Don Ontiveros. 15 points for Ontiveros. So, he's in the top three. Pero alam mo, meron siyang... Meron nag-17 tsaka 16 doon. 17, oo. Oh, so, I think Ontiveros, score, if he made that uh, last shot, would have catapulted him into 17 and a tie with Mark Makapagal. So ngayon, si Jeff Chan is uh, clinging on to the third spot and he's hoping that no one else would uh, shoot uh, beyond 16 points. Josh Urbiston, now for the Santa Lucia Realtors. Ito, Dom, may usapan kami ni, ano, eh, ni Josh Urbistondo. Sabi ko, i-pistol shoot niya ako pag uh, umabot siya ng finals. And he said, uh, if I score beyond 21, then I will do that. So let's see if he will fulfill his promise to me. <laughs> do you want him to? Wala lang. Kat Katuwaan lang. <laughs> no, that's the beauty. Or that's the advantage of us uh, courtside reporters. Really, we get to interact with the players right. a lot more. And uh, you become buddies with them. And uh, Josh Urbistondo... Struggling here so far with 23 seconds left, two more racks. Urbistondo, 10 balls. Let's see what he can do. Pag natalo naman siya dito, sabihin ko, Josh, there's always next year. <laughs> well, of course, Josh Urbistondo, a rookie here in the PBA. He was actually undrafted. Yes. And landed a job at the Realtors and has been making his opponents pay. Those things hindi pumili sa kanya. And we see uh, James Yap coming over to us. <laughs> Actually, I was uh, kidding around with uh, James Yap early on, but let's wait for the official score of Urbistondo. 15 points for Urbistondo. At alam mo yung mga ganyan, yung mga 15, ano? Parang itong si Dondo kanina. Siguro iniisip nila, if I only made one That more money shot. ball, oh. one more money ball, end ako sa next round. Well, Jimmy Alapag for the talk and text, drop on textures. Well, we saw James Yap coming over to us, actually because he was warming up earlier. And I, uh, and he's not shoot the first two shots. So I said, James, why don't you defend the title? Mo? Look at me, shot the third one, and made it. Ganyan. So let's see if he's going defend it. But this is the two time champion. Then, in 2003, sa Araneta Coliseum, at 2005, sa Lawag naman, Jimmy Alapag, also one of the best shooters here in the PBA. Alapag now waiting for the clock to start. Alapag, one of the more focused players in the PBA. You can see it in his eyes. Going three out of three in his first rack. At saka kung napapansin po ninyo, yung pagkuha nila ng bola, sa unang rack pa lang, ano, 
may position na eh because importante talaga yung tempo or yung rhythm. Malapag also with that jump shot. Malapag one of the strongest PBA players. And now, you, you know, pound for pound. Itong si Jimmy Alapag is one of the strongest. I remember when he played for the national team and they do actually like a baseline of strength and uh, their trainer at that time mentioned that Jimmy Alapag was the strongest. At alam mo, kahit na hindi katangkaran si Jimmy Alapag, his balance, his shooting, the way he drives at the hoop, well, definitely one of the best point guards in the PBA. And this guy can dunk. So Jimmy Alapag in his final rack. Three seconds to go. Let's see if that'll count. That'll count. Jimmy Alapag's official score, 13 points. Dati, no, Dom, yung mga 13, 12, oh, be good yan. enough to make it to the next round. Pero dahil nga sa pinakita ni Al Jamal, itong si Mark Makapagal, at itong si Jeff Chan, hindi tayo pwede ang 13 or 14. Kailangan 16 is minimum para makapasok lang sa next round. So the magic number for James Yap is to beat Jeff Chance 16 points to be able to at least make it in the finals. So, so far, Al Jamal with 19, Makapagal with 17, and Jeff Chan with 16. Those are our top three. And I'm sure C. James would like to also make it and defend his crown that he, that he won last year. Well, James Yap also a fierce competitor here in the PBA would want to defend it. And James also one of those players who can actually adjust his shot set shot, pwede rin siya mag-jump shot during games. Iba talaga yun, eh, ititira mo sa three-point shootout tsaka sa game. Eh. Dito, kitang-kita mo, as you mentioned, it's a set shot here. Pero during games, di ba, kahit napapapalipit siya, titira ng jump shot yan. James Yap in the first two racks, not really where he wants to be. Now in the middle, making some headway. Again, struggling in the mid-balls. James Yap with my official, unofficial count, about seven points so far. And if he wants to make it to the next round, medyo kailangan yung kumpletuhin ng itong mga uh -oh. ng bola. Well, James Yap, one of his abilities is really to be able to shoot off balance. And uh, looks like uh, that's what ha what's happening for him now, but the shots aren't falling. And let's see if... Uh, and yes, tadi throw na yung ating uh, 2009 three-point uh, king. James Yap with seven points here in 2010 three-point shootout. So our top three. Dito sa ating uh, 2010. Etong ano? Etong sleeper na natin. Look at that, the second, uh, next five, or the second five, Jeff Chan with 16, Ontiveros with 15, or Biscondo with 15, Alapag with 13, and James Yap with 7. So let's move on now, our top three, after the first round, Yusef Al-Jamal, 19 receiver, 19 points. At ito si Makapagal, 17, and Jeff Chan with 16. So tingnan natin, will uh, Al-Jamal be able to stretch this all the way to the finals and then join our Legends shootout on Sunday. So when you think it's a finals, whoever has the lowest score goes first. Uh -huh. so, so Jeff Chan will go first, followed by Mark Makapagal, and then Yusef Al-Jamal. Sa gato, ganun pa rin, ano? If you go first, you want to set the tone. But uh, with Al-Jamal shooting, malamang di niya iniisip yun. The mere fact na umabot sa finals, masaya na siya. Yes. Oh, looks like a false start. False start for Barker, Benji Santiago. <laughs> so, mukhang nagustuhan naman ni Jeff Chan yun because at least he can improve when he starts anew. Well, one additional thing here in the finals, looks like we're gonna have a crowd count. That'll help our players know where they are at right on the money eh. kumbaga real time alam nila yung bilang para may guide ka nga ano? alam mo kung ilang pa yung ahabulin mo and edge na yun no? for Jeff Chan because uh, sabi nga natin nakatatlo apat na practice siya di ba sabi nila yung shooter pag nag mid this daw huwag mo pa uulitin kasi pag umulit yan chances are may papasok na niya well you know as a as a shooter some people say you need to have a short term memory you forget about the miss and you just look forward and know that you're going to make the next one.